Why do the worst action movie sequels always star Bruce Willis? You know, like Die Hard 2, Die Hard 5, Red 2. See where I'm going? You know where I'm going. An inconvenient sloppy mess, the movie, otherwise known as Red 2. So Red 2 stars Bruce Willis, it stars John Malkovich, it stars Anthony Hopkins? Anthony Hopkins? Does that- this movie should be brilliant, but no, it's just- it's just not. So, this movie, I- I- I liked the first one, like, a lot. I thought it- I thought it was gonna be crap, then I saw it, it was actually really well put together. I think it's not as good as people are saying. It's really overrated, but the more you think about it, just the more you like it. I think we were expecting it to be so terrible, and then it really wasn't. I mean, it had a great villain, it had a great- just- it had fantastic com comedic timing. John Malkovich was hilarious. It was just an awesome time. Now we're back for the sequel for Red 2, because the people must say it's it's Red 2 if the first one made so much money. And so, Red 2 just, it doesn't have what the first one had, and that's good comedy. Now, comedy's only a small part in the Red series, and so how is the comedy? The comedy does not work, like not at all. The comedy is just so out of place and awkward when someone makes a joke and they have that beat that you're supposed to react to it and no one reacts. It's just, it's just stupid. The only person that really made, my, made me laugh and I chuckled like once in this movie, the only person that really made me laugh was John Malkovich. He makes these Red movies, but he can't save these movies because this second one is just, it's crap, it's so lazy and cheap. Also, if the comedy does not work just at all, the comedy does not work at all. How's that as an action movie? The action just, it really, it's just really not good. The action sucks. The slow-mo doesn't even work. It's not as cool as the trailers made it look. It's just a bunch of just inconvenient messes. And they do that digital blood thing where it's just obnoxious when digital blood is spraying out. It's just, it's ridiculous. I hate digital blood so much. And as an action movie, it's just a sloppy mess. I mean, every scene is just like this. Then all of a sudden, they're in a whole nother place. And they're meeting new characters that you didn't even know about. And they're just kind of there. And then one of them, oh, spoiler alert, one of them dies. Catherine Zeta-Jones dies in this movie, but if you really worry about spoilers for Red 2, do you, do you really care? I mean, seriously, you. You, if you're worrying about spoilers for Red 2, I mean, come on. This movie is stupid, lazy, and obnoxious. I, I didn't like it. My final verdict for Red 2 is a 2 out of 10. I'm gonna give it that because it's not a total piece of crap. It's just, it's really bad. It's one of the worst of the year so far. So thank you for watching. This is Piccolo signing off.